What's going on guys? My name is Haru. This right here is Lewis Body Piercing. We're excited for another brand new video. So yo, I'm done talking and let's get started with the funds. Yo, the piercing videos are back. The vlogs are kicking on back. We are going to post every single day. And guess what? You're going to be seeing a lot more of this kind of content here. If you guys didn't know, we are open. We are taking clients and we are taking piercings. So if you want to set up an appointment right now, make sure to click the link in the description section below. Click on that link tree. Click on piercing appointment and book your appointment now. Uh, I wanted to go on this side specifically. I don't know um, if you can give me some pointers on where to like, place it because I'm not sure if I wanted like too high, too like low. Or, Usually like, I put it like right on the cheekbone. Okay. Yeah, so it'd be like right below your eye off to the side, like right on this area. Okay, do you mind, do you mind like marking like a couple like dots? And yeah, stuff? that's what I'm yeah, cool. I got you. You guys had a big line, so I was kind of surprised by that. I was like, you, oh, you did, a, you did a walk in? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Then I think there would be like so we are doing a dermal. Those are considered the implants in the skin. So pick the one you like the best. Oh, my opinion. Okay, cool. Watch out. Watch out. So in my opinion. <laughs> if you guys to see, that is like the disc or like the backing of the jewelry has like these two inserts or slots. That is what gets inserted inside the skin. So tissue binds. There we go. So it binds. It holds it in place. And the top piece, you can unscrew it and change it out. Give it. Yeah, you just gotta make room to put that piece in. So yeah, these do have a little bit more steps than your traditional, like a cartilage piercing or like a date or something. Like, don't touch it with your hands, don't sleep on it, anything like that. Tip soaked in saline solution. You do that twice a day. Okay. Heck, we kind of washing your face too. Yeah. <laughs> if you're a crazy face washer, man. Yeah. Fabulous. So painful. How painful though? Give me a number out of seven. A seven. A six. Is it like a? I'm being a little extra right now, but. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> oh, here he goes. You call that cleaning? Do you understand how dusty these guys are? Oh, I'm, I'm hearing. Just, just, I did. I think so. I think she's lying. If you guys haven't seen our jewelry collection, here are some of the items featured. They're available in store, and some, like the ones back there, which are going to be available online very, very soon. Those are the beautiful 14 karat gold collection. Those are solid 14 karat gold. Link in the description section below. Click on the link tree. Shop jewelry. Layla, which one is your favorite piece? The 14 karat gold B. All right, Brie, what's your favorite? Definitely the 14 karat little B. Oh, so you got the B as well. Harrison, what's your favorite jewelry piece? I like the daggers. And the the dagger right there and the spider right next to it. I like it. Hey, Maria, Maria, Maria. It's a West Side Story. Maria, what's your favorite jewelry we carry? 14 karat gold marquee. All righty, Lupe, what is your favorite piece that we carry? The 14 karat gold dragonfly. Ooh, pretty. Laura, what is your favorite piece that we carry? It would be the dragonfly. I think today's winner is dragonfly and B. Johnny, what is your favorite piece of jewelry that we carry? 14 karat double row gem injury. Wow. Hey, Haru, what is your favorite jewelry that we carry? Pieces, everything in the store. Shop now. Link in the description section below. LewisBodyJewelry.com. Guys, what you see right here is our autoclave. This is what we use to process all our tools, clamp for initial piercing. This chamber inside that has two rows where you insert everything inside these packages here to a certain time, a, to a certain temperature and pressure setting and allow it to do its cycle. And then all you'll get is this integrated strip that we throw in there as well too. Or a steam sterilization integrator. This allows you and is required for you to throw this into every single cycle that we do to check and test if the machine is actually sterilizing or not. It definitely is a pass. Here's a fully autoclave package. As you guys can see, the top left and right corner is discolored. You see that it actually is integrated and sterilized because the blue has turned into that gray strip. We have a log of all these at every single cycle, the date, who did done, so when the health department comes, checks our records, and proof that, hey, when we're running this machine, we're actually cleaning everything, and it's logged, and here's the proof for it, and here's why it's passing, yes or no. For any reason there is an issue with the machine, that means we have to go and get it submitted and repaired. Wait, no. which way did it go? They went, they went that way? Oh, shit, they're coming. What piercing would you guys get? A septum piercing or a conch piercing? Make sure to drop a comment in the comment section below because I will be responding and I want to see what you guys voted for. We're gonna fix those lights. I don't know why they're pointing up, so I'm gonna get my ladder and just fix it real quick. I'm 
fed up. You know, we're waiting for appointments. Wait for some people. We are open. We are taking appointments for your piercings. Come on down. Get what you want. Nostril, helix, septum, navel, industrial, conch, date, whatever you want, we got it. So she's shooting those for the TikToks, Reels, and Spotlights, which are the short form content, promoting the products, which is really exciting. So we're doing a shot for septums, I'm doing another one for teeth piercing. Really cool stuff, like look at this. Spike Tin Drink, this is titanium and it's available right now. You can use this for your septum and as well as in your day. These are not gonna change colors, they're not gonna tarnish, they're not gonna turn green, they're not gonna make your ears itch, they're solid titanium. And we had a couple more pieces right here as well too. We're doing a double lobes right now, we're doing the first and the second. Some guys like to jump, some guys don't. Would be a good look. I like my man. We're doing the larger ones on the bottom and the smaller ones right above that. You give it a nice symmetry, you give it a nice feel and vibe with that. Yep, it's the move right there. So far, so good, right? Not too bad. Yeah, honestly, not as bad as I thought. Did you guys come with a group to get piercings? Yeah, there's three of us. Oh, cool, yeah. How do you like it? How do you like it? Fantastic. We are here getting ready for a nostril. And look at that. Everything fresh out the oven. Sterile. The jewelry he's using is going to be Similar to the one his friend got, just a dome or ball top. Keep it minimalistic, keep it simple. They're not trying to be as cool as Harrison here. He has a lightning bolt on his nostril. These are 14 karat gold. And if you guys didn't know, these are the pushback, so they are bent to fit. So you just kind of push them together like that. And they are good to go. So that little pin back there on the ball gets clicked into the post, which is right next to it. The cool thing is you can switch off that top. For example, you can get that ball top. So that ball top will fit anything on here for the titanium collections. And it's gonna fit any one of these 14 karat golds. So y'all know we're gonna clean it, mark it, and get it ready. Yeah. That's just like the right height for a, um, a small hoop to fit like snugly in your nose. Okay. Send it. <laughs> Perfect, post is in. Now what you gotta do is click on that top. Those are the pushback, which are super universal. You can buy different tops. Perfect. <laughs> Pain level out of a 10. Three and a half. Three and a half out of ten. Yo guys, we're here, we're popping, we're live, we're doing TikTok with people getting pierced, customers waiting outside, it is going live. And of course, like we always say after every single client, we are wiping down the surfaces. We got Harrison putting some elbow grease, killing off the surface, making sure it's clean for him to work. And for every other client that's coming by, of course, you're also wiping down all the surfaces as well too. So not just the chair, it's the surfaces, everything he's using in the whole entire, you guys can see that right there. Nipples! 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 <laughs> Do it, do it, do it for the TikTok. <laughs> would you actually, if this gets enough likes, would you actually get your nipples pierced? Bro, How many likes would I have to get for you to Bro, get your nipples pierced? One million. One, one million? million? Everyone go on TikTok right now, find that video, like that shit right now. <laughs> Links in the description section, but go. If he gets a million, yo. If you get a million likes on that video, I'll pay for his nipple piercings. I'll pay for that shit. I'll pay you to not like the video. <laughs> Like it, like it, go, like it right now. So I used to go dirt bike riding with my family. One of my cousins had a single nipple piercing and he was an excellent dirt bike rider, but things happened and he got cut off while he was oh, riding. Shit. And he was riding shirtless. Oh my God. He took a whiff into the dirt. He comes back to the campsite. He's like basically holding his nipple in his hand because they got uh, nipple yeah, piercing in his hand. Oh! Not like nipple piercings. <laughs> yeah, you're traumatized, bro. Yeah. Oh my god. All this thing was, he was totally chill about it. He was like, oh man, like, does anybody have a band aid? <laughs> I was like, he got it. He had, he had, they had to take it out to put stitches in and it healed and he got it re pierced. Wow, what a crazy. Yo, I'm telling you, if you got some crazy piercing stories, yo, comment below right now. Let it see. We can create a video where you can read the most crazy comments. <laughs> Cause that's insane. But hey, I uh, just came back from the store right now. The day is not over. We actually have to film with John right now. It is currently 7.15 p.m. The work don't stop. We got a very, very busy schedule ahead of us. But well, we decided to move on the inner part of the conch because she felt like she wanted two conches and she liked how there was kind of a dimension between, a separation between the outside part of the ear and the inside part of the ear. So the bar definitely